So here is a model of the human brain. So there's a front part and a back part. This front part is right behind our forehead. That's the prefrontal cortex, critical for the ability to shift and focus attention. Also, a part of the brain that is very responsive to what you bring into your life. Exercise actually really helps the prefrontal cortex. Meditation helps area 10 of the prefrontal cortex, which is right in the very front right here. The second brain area that you will benefit from when you make your brain big and fat and fluffy is a structure called the hippocampus, which is, which is buried deep in this lobe, deep in this lobe right here, which is the temporal lobe. The hippocampus, hippocampus means seahorse, <laughs> and the hippocampus is critical for your ability to, sh to form and retain new long-term memories for facts and events. You have one on the right and you have one on the left. So for you, superstar podcaster, what do you need to do? You need to remember all the details of that guest that you're sitting in front of. You need to be able to focus. What did they say? What do I want to uh, ask next? And how do I want to come back to those things? That is a combination of what your prefrontal cortex is doing for you and your hippocampus is doing for you. So I submit that you, when you do these things that we know from neuroscience it are going to make your prefrontal cortex and your hippocampus big and fat and fluffy, you will be better at doing your job as a podcaster. I am better as a dean and a professor of neuroscience and, and teaching in class, for example, is where I'm using my prefrontal cortex and my hippocampus the most. Most of us would benefit from these things that make our brains big and fat and fluffy. Was there a point in your life where you had a personal epiphany or revelation about the brain that made you so passionate about the subject? Absolutely, absolutely. 